Hi, Judy from Witch Peacecraft. Welcome to the 24th of November and Fairy Bread Day. It is time to celebrate with Fairy Bread. For those overseas, you're going, what? The Aussies will know what I'm talking about. So how did it come about? Well, on the 24th of November, 2014, Adam Shackle was eating fairy bread and he turned to a mate and said, we should have a day to celebrate this. And his mate said, well, why don't you start one? And from then on, the founder, Adam Shekels, started Fairy Bread Day. So what is Fairy Bread? I've got a few notes for you on what people say. An irresistible slice of nostalgia, res reminiscent of simpler times. Fairy Bread Day is a celebration of Aussie culture. From teachers to tradies, young and old, Fairy Bread Day is now celebrated around Australia and even around the world with expats relishing in a slice of home. For me, when the kids were young and you were invited to a kid's party and you brought a plate, I would take fairy bread because it was always popular. And in my old job, we used to have a big Christmas party for the kids belonging to the parents and grandparents of the club. And the kitchen was always under the pump and the chef to do the functions. So we would cater the children's Christmas party, me and volunteers. And my job was to make fairy bread Christmas tree. So I would do the Christmas tree. I would do all the fairy bread. And for the tree trunk, I would put Nutella on a bread. And for the star on top of the Christmas tree, I would buy those little silver balls that you put on cakes, sprinkle them on bread and use a star cookie cutter to cut it out and put it on top of the tree. On the table, because it has to lay flat on a cake board, we would slightly prop it up so you could see the tree. And the kids loved it. It was always all gone and demolished. And every year I would make it a bit bigger and it was never enough. I'd be asked, is there any more fairy bread? Well, it was a lot of fun. And that's one of the fun things about my old job. The sad thing is, I've heard since I've left, the children's Christmas party has sort of come to an end. They no longer do it. And yeah, that's a little sad because it's fun to do things with volunteers and staff and just have a laugh and make some good home cooking things. I had to have a food handling certificate to be able to do that and supervise the volunteers, by the way. We're very strict over here. Now, Fairy bread is a special treat. It's not a health thing. Um, and it's not recommended you eat it every day. So before someone says, oh, that's not very healthy, we know that. It's not something you feed to your kids every day. It was always a fun thing. And I have made a small video on how to make fairy bread, which will be after this one, attached to this one. And you can watch it and see what you think. The fairy bread I made in the video, I gave to Thing for afternoon tea because he went, wow, I haven't had this in years. And it, just before I came in to make the video, he said to me, Saxon likes it. Saxon's the dog. I'm not sure the dog should be eating fairy bread, let alone whether we should be eating a lot of it. Guys, what I'd like you to do is watch the video to the end, give it a thumbs up and leave a positive comment. Have you tried fairy bread? Did you know what fairy bread is? And are you going to try it? Because I really would like you to try it. I'd like you to get a little wacky with me and have a wacky maker do and make yourself some fairy bread and be a little naughty and maybe get on Santa's naughty list, not on his nice list. I have found a recipe for a gluten-free fairy bread slice that you might like to try and I'll put it at in a link in the description below because not everyone can have gluten and I've never tried it so if you do make it let me know what you think guys the reason I want you to leave comments and give it a thumbs up is in 2020 fairy bread day and reach out an online mental health service for youth formed a partnership and now they fundraise with fairy bread day for Reach Out's online service. Today, they raised $60,000 and I will make a donation to, on behalf of my subscribers, 
So the size of my donation will be de decided by you guys, by the size of how many people leave a comment, how many thumbs up, that sort of thing. So make the video popular for me and for those kids out there with mental health issues that need somewhere to go to talk about them. I think for me, I've in my early to mid thirties, I had a lot of mental health issues and I got counseling and it helped me a lot. So, and I've had a brother commit suicide and I've lost a friend to suicide. So mental health is high on my list of priorities of supporting when we need services to help people. That's the serious bit. I want you to try berry bread and celebrate with me. For me, I keep looking at the yarn Barbara sent me, this one, because this one reminds me of fairy bread. And I want to start the project for, with this yarn, but I keep saying I have to finish some projects first before I start a new one. But it sits on this little table here. Every day I see and go, oh, I want to start that project. Anyway, until next time, stay safe, stay well, and make sure you try some fairy bread or at least check out the recipe. Bye for now. Hi, this is how I do my fairy bread. So you need bread, butter, and sprinkles. We call them hundreds and thousands. So it's preferable white bread, but not necessarily. That's how we've always done it. You butter your bread, which I've done. I don't think I need to show you how to butter bread. My sprinkles came in a packet, so I put them in one of my spice jars and you sprinkle your sprinkles on the bread. Lots of them. Ta -da! And then you have what we call fairy bread. Might have to move it away from the plate. This is hard for me to film. As you can see, I'm not a chef. And they do make a bit of a mess. And then you cut them into halves or quarters, preferably quarters, because it's usually something you give to a child or you have at a child's party. Me, I used to make my Christmas tree. I used to do like that. If I was doing a big one, I would do like that. You just keep going and out and for the bottom bit I would for this trunk of the tree I would use Nutella brown and for the star on top I would butter a slice of bread and put sprinkles and um, those silver ball sprinkles you get for cakes and then I would use a cookie cutter of a star to make the star on top but there you have it this is fairy bread you can always oops Add more sprinkles when you finish. Ta da! Oops, too close. Fairy bread. Enjoy. A sweet treat never hurt anybody. Bye for now.